Hi there, it's Popmos. Very nice of you to stop by this video. How are you? Well, I'm fine and I'm going to continue with the Communist States of America. So I hope you will join me in that. Now, before we get time rolling, we have to check some things. We are doing quite well coastal defense-wise, but we also have a very mighty fleet on the Pacific Coast we're not using right now. So, I'm gonna start using that fleet. Well, we are using it, but not really efficiently. I'm gonna send it down here, because, well, this is where we are fighting, and I think it can do a good job down there. So let's just send it there, let's see what it does. Of course, we also have submarines here. Quite a big fleet, actually. So I'm gonna set them to convoy raiding, and they're gonna raid convoys all over the area. And then we'll see what that does. Maybe they'll all just be destroyed, I don't know, but at least we're using them now. And, well, we are fighting down here, as you can see, and I'm hoping to really hurt the enemy here. And, well, it all kinda depends on how good we can pull through. So, yes, let's just keep pushing. For instance, try to surround these forces, that would be splendid. And I think once these two wars are done, I'm going to reorganize my troops to make sure that we are doing the best we can when we keep pushing into South America. So first, let's get time rolling. Slow it down a little bit so I have a little bit more influence over what's happening. Now, there's a lot of guys fleeing there, so yeah, we're gonna push in. Let's hope they push in before these can get away. Yes, they did, which is excellent. Ooh, we have three military factories. Well, I think we need a lot of equipment to replace can check that here. Well, almost 300,000 infantry equipment, so yeah. Gonna focus on that for a while. The Soviet Union joined the war against us, so that's fine. I mean, I don't really care. Come on, let's destroy these. You can do it. And, well, we're pushing into Venezuela, so this could be over quite quickly. And, well, basically, that's what I'm hoping. That we can end this quickly. And, well, we can push through then. Probably not through Holland, we're not at war with Holland, but we can push through against, well, at least Trinidad and Tobago. And into those colonies. And, well, I do want to take those colonies. So let's try. I think I should order my mountaineers to stop for a while. Reorganize. And actually start making an impact. Because, well, they're not really... Now these guys should just push on downwards. take those provinces. Venezuela's getting close to a surrender. Colombia too, so yeah. Let's hope we can end those two soon and then we'll see. There's a lot of pocket battleships still. My fleet is set to do not engage and I think that's a good choice, but... Well... Not entirely sure, of course. I should get rid of those, because they're just reserves. I don't want them in reserve. I do believe, however, that I should set them to do not engage. Let's just get out of there. Don't meddle in those affairs with the big fleets. I think I should get my big fleet... Well, it's engaged again, as soon as they're free, yeah. Should get my second Atlantic fleet to go to port. There it goes. Then let's check our fleet, see if we think it's strong enough, and if we think it is, we can actually shed it with some aggression. We don't have to do naval invasions right now, so from that perspective, we are doing good. So, yeah. Colombia's 
very close to a surrender. Just need to take a few more provinces. Perhaps just one or two. Alright, my red army is not proceeding anymore. Let's go. Push it. But that is looking good. Alright, we sank one ship. I think the British flag changed. What happened there? They did change to a different... The Union of Britain. Oh, they're communists now. Oh, wow. That's interesting. We have the Soviet Union again. Alright. Now that's kind of cool. That, that all changed. So yeah. Ooh, Colombia surrendered. Well, let's take everything. Perfect. Splendid. Excellent. I've got no words for it. Let's set up another attack line. Now, they are defending. They are defending. I think I need to change these into mountaineers as well. Because they're really strong. Well, they need to do some training as well. But we need those mountaineers. They can really push through and, well, other troops just can't every time. So yeah, we need to be careful with that. And I really want to push in, so... Alright, well... These are ready as well, so let's push in. And I'll just get those... Pushing, come on. Take out Venezuela. That'll be a big help. More troops coming in, that's good. Alright, let's check our fleet. 70 ships in it. But we have ships without carriers. That's not supposed to happen. Or, well, not without carriers, but without planes on them. Let's say they need 56 at the limit. Alright. Do the same with you. 57. Set the limit. So that means when they all arrive, we have quite a few planes on them. Now let me check, because probably while we construct those ships, there will be... Well, we don't have naval bombers yet, that's the problem. So I have to set these up, and now they will be filled when they enter. At least I think. Well, let's wait for all airplanes to arrive, and when they do, we will send them out and see what those ships can do. Ooh, we have ships that we don't know the class of. That's interesting. Another doctrine came in. That's always a good thing. And fleet doctrine will come in as well. Yep, all airplanes arrived. Another fleet doctrine. Good, let's continue those. The better fleet doctrine we have, the stronger we are. Alright, let's see. We are preparing, I think, yeah. And we should be... Yeah, alright, so that's good. We are preparing against all those enemies. Ooh, we sank a ship. Perfect. That's perfect. Really perfect. Now, let's check, because... Well, I don't think these places really need to be defended. Well, they do need to be defended, but maybe not by those troops. Uh, should probably mainly defend this. And can get rid of these provinces. 28 divisions, 25 divisions. So let's do it like this. That'll be good. Well, we lost a the ship there. Not nice, but... Yeah, those things happen. Alright, let's get one of you. Go to Barbados, because it should be empty. But we also lost a province here. Not nice. Well, let's hold, because we can't drive him out yet. We'll see. Should be speeding forward towards Ciudad Boulevard. Well, 
It's 1923. That's too much ahead of time. It's too... Enables the T1 light tank. Oh, they finally added those tanks. Good. Because they didn't before, now they've added those tanks. So we should be able to build light tanks. Well, guess not, but... At some point we should be able to build light tanks. Interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Equipment effort. Well, let's go on with the aviation effort. I think... Yeah, we are building infrastructure, but I think we should be building infrastructure here to make sure that that infrastructure is real good. And then just need to focus on factories again. Perhaps we need to do a lot more production. Alright. Now these can all go down. Pairing will go automatically. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Well, I think I should just set all of these just to infinite production. We have a fleet that is strong enough. We can just say, all right, we'll build a new one. But infinite production is key now because we need to defeat those strong allied fleets. Well, they are still training, which is good. Should. These should start training because they can use it as well. Well, they can't be training because they're still in a fight, but as soon as they will get out of the fight, they can start training. And I think it's time to put my fleet out there again. Or, let's just start here. See if there's any enemies here, if they can wipe them out. If there's not, we'll just move a season. Well, getting closer and closer. Oh, we sink another ship. Those submarines are doing a good job. Let's hope they can keep doing that. At least we are steadily moving into South America. Although we have to wait for those orgles to come in, but... Well, let's speed it up. Alright. I'd say soon enough we have to go there. Do I have a free army? Not yet. Well, they will be free anytime. Because Venezuela will fall, and then they can just try and push north. Although he's filling it up with troops. How many troops does he have? Ooh, a lot. So I have to be careful. Well, I think we'll manage. Keep rolling in. Use the tanks. They're really strong. They don't have an attack line. That's one of the problems. Well, there you go. Keep rolling in. Come on. Do it aggressively. Perfect. Let's just use every. Now I see good green numbers. Probably almost out of equipment anyway, so that's the point for us where we can say, alright, bye bye. Well, his big fleet is still present. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh. Let's take two out. This is a completely new army. Under the command of Luke Sherman. And, well... I'll just send them there. To defend ports and the coastline and do some suppression, although I don't think they have military police on them, but... We'll see. At least we are pushing in. Further and further. Yeah, we must rally against the Ecuadorians. It's not over yet. Ooh, 99%. Ooh, but he's coming at me. 
interestingly enough. Let's keep the pressure on. Yep, he gave up. Alright. That's good. Because now, all of those can go there. Let's destroy that line. All of these should get in there. And then just go there. Alright. Oh, that's how I want it to look. to be fighting himself to the death. Which is quite interesting, actually. Here we go. Come on, attack him. Well, now might be a good time to... Ooh, they're fighting. Well, they're not really doing anything because he's fleeing. But now might actually be a good time to use that fleet and put them into combat. Naval bombing or air innovation. Well, we'll go with air innovation for now. Well, he put in a lot of troops, which ain't to our benefit, so be careful. At least we took the areas, which is really good. Should be investing in infrastructure. So that it gets better and better. These are all trained up, that's good. These are all trained up, that's good. And probably these should be pointed against Brazil. We have to go to war with him. I want him to be ready. It says 24 divisions, but I don't see them coming. Just send them over there then, and then they can see what they do. Ah, we are breaking through. Perfect. Keep pushing in. Floating airfields. That's nice. All the extra organization, etc. is really welcome. Just send one over there extra. Now, let's see... Ooh, submarines. Better submarines. Yep. It is looking nice. He's fleeing again. So let's get out of here. Let's go there. Now all I can do is hope that my ships can actually hurt his. Although we don't have as much of those big ships as he does, so that could be a problem, but at least we sank one. Losing a lot of destroyers. Well, he lost two big ships, three big ships, six big ships, that's the numbers we want to see. Yep. Ooh, that's good. That's severely weakening our enemy, because, well, France has an okay fleet, just like us. And now he's losing a lot. Yeah. He lost quite a big portion of his big ships. That's good. 40 days and we can attack Ecuador. That'll be interesting to see. Let's split these in half. They continue straight. Just keep driving in. And I should probably declare war on Holland. Ooh, 900 days. That's like a few years. So I'm not going to do that yet. Better early fighter or transport plane. Could be interesting, but I don't have paratroopers yet. So I don't really need them yet. Well, we'll go with the early fighter. Alright, this is a good deal. This is a good deal. I like it that way. Now, do my fleet need repair? It need repairs. Yeah. So, let's get home. I 
Alright, let's head home. We can do a better bomber. Although, I'm not actually building any bombers yet, but... My submarine sank another ship, that's good as well. Well, we have some initiative, and it appears we are doing quite okay, so... At least we finally were able to hurt his fleet. We haven't been able to for a while. So I think that's good news. But, yeah, we'll see. That's actually all we can do. We can just check how it goes. keeping his troops there, which is a problem for me, because I can't break through right now with the troops I have there, and I don't have the fleet capacity to do another naval invasion there, so it's a slight problem. Though I could use these marines for something, I guess. Maybe I can use them to sneak back there. That would be really interesting. I don't know if he keeps troops there, but he doesn't, that would be a real interesting choice. That would be great, actually, if we could do it and master that. But we'll have to see. He's using less and less troops every time. Oh, he's putting them in again, but he's losing equipment hand over fist, so that's good. How am I doing? Ooh, we have a big shortage of heavy tanks. But we're still producing them. Well, let's get rid of them. I can't be dealing with that shortage. That's not good for me. That's the naval bombing. I need the strongest tank divisions I can possibly have. And well, that's not actually happening. Now, I need these to make sure that they can actually attack when they're ready. We need an attack plan ready. Let's see. Ecuador has four to six divisions. Yes, I should be able to defeat him, but well, last time I thought I would be able to defeat the other guy as well, Colombia, and he managed to get a lot of divisions in a short time. Alright, you can go back to Guadalupe. Is there moving away? Come on, keep moving, get in. Yep, there we go against Ecuador. Well, let's just declare that war. Let's go. Ecuador joined the British. Alright. Or the European Syndicate. Oh, interesting. The European Syndicate. Well, we still have more losses than the enemy, but I think it's fine. We'll be able to deal with that. In a good way, we still have a lot of manpower and but we're still on limited conscription, so for now that's looking very good. And we have a lot of attacking forces ready, so as soon as we can we'll just go to war in Europe. We're not breaking through here. Which is tough for me to see because I just want to break through. But Apparently he still has the means to keep pushing in new troops with equipment, etc. So, our repair is coming along. Well, everything's repaired. So I'm going to send them out here again. And after they have arrived, I will set them to engage again. Right now they're not set to engage. T1 light tank. Interesting. Well, I guess those are all a bit far ahead of time. We don't need a super heavy. Ooh, let's do another Doctrine. Don't know why I wasn't doing that. can always use those. Alright, well, we're set to do not engage. Perhaps I should put them on engage. Let me select them. Let's engage. And he straight just bombs out. Well, we're there. And we are trying to engage enemy ships. Let's hope that helps. 
sure, but... Well, we can hope, of course. They'll probably flee. But you can never be certain. Yep, they're fleeing. Alright. Let me see. Integrated convoys. Perfect. With all those naval doctrines coming in, we will actually be able to do a very good job. So, I really like it. Yeah, come on. Well, that's actually taking a very long time. Just one unit in the mountains. I have mountaineers. So this shouldn't be so much of a problem. Probably, yeah, he has good fortresses. <laughs> well, we'll get him anyway. Just take a little bit of time. Infrastructure's coming in nicely. I think, if we check. Oh yeah, infrastructure's coming in very nice. So we should probably... Keep developing it. That'll be to our benefit. Well, let's get in a few planes. I did threes, two hundred, and I don't think I have bombers left. No. All right, well, just put them over there so we get the air superiority bonus. Sometimes that's just the thing you need to get some extra aid. So if we justify against Peru, 275 dice. That's okay. We're 185 away from doing the same to Brazil. Only three units. So there is a slight chance we will actually do a good thing. Can we do some fighting here? And we check it out again. Well, we're gonna set this one up there as well. And then we will send these. Let's see if they can actually do something. Can they take this? And if they can, we should put troops here to engage into Brazil. That'll be really interesting. Oh no, he has a straw. Ooh! There's a really strong army there, so let's just stop, get back. Don't do anything stupid. Ooh, our fleet is engaged, so we can't help out that army. Well, let's do an artillery effort again. Oh, there my ships are perfect. Well, he sank three convoys, so. Well, we're not going to make it there. Interesting. Well, we'll get rid of that. Just focus all our troops in there. I think that's a good one. Oh, we sank another sub. Alright, we managed to take the first hop. Now let's get to the next. But for now, we're going to end this episode here. As you can see, well, we defeated Colombia, almost defeated Ecuador, we defeated Venezuela, we are pushing in. So yeah, it is looking good. However, it's still going to be a big struggle to capture everything because, well, the Allies have a lot of troops and they're pouring them in. And, well, since we're still close to the First World War time, you can't really make a difference with all the techs. Defense is stronger than the offense. When we get closer to 1936, we can turn that around, but that will take some time. For now, I had fun. I hope you did too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Then you'll just get a notification when I put up a new video, which I try to do daily, but I can't promise every day. And, well, I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.